short as 15 minutes, but uh, because uh, some of you came out to when it premiered at the Film Festival, uh, I wanted to give y'all something extra. So um, this is going to be a four-course meal. Um, with the short being the last piece as the uh, you know the final uh, piece in this presentation, but I have three pieces that are going to come in front of it. Um, one is going to be a teaser trailer of the full length feature. So we're gonna get that jumping. And then there's a music video, and then I'm actually gonna show a clip of the full, you know, feature. It's just like a sequence. When we're born, we know nothing about anger and pain, conflict. We inherit it from the world in which we live. Brittany Noble spoke with police who say the officer involved in the shooting didn't know about Brown's involvement in the robbery at that time. Everybody agrees the guy has his hands up and a cop shoots him anyway. And Al Sharpton has the nerve to insult the American police community, men and women risking their lives to protect us. We're not anti-police, but we're anti-brutality. We have a broken justice system, and it's not fair. For the second time in as many weeks, a grand jury has found the evidence is just not there to charge a white police officer in connection with the death of a black civilian. Anything you could have done differently that would have prevented that killing from taking place? No. Nothing? No. If he would have gotten on the sidewalk when, and followed Dorian Johnson to the sidewalk, I probably never would have noticed cigarettes. I would have gone and gotten lunch and continued my day. He would have continued his. But I do want to open up the floor for anybody that has any kind of questions or anything like that. I don't have a second mic, but you know, I'll do my best to like run to you or whatnot. So, does anybody have any kind of questions or anything? Uh, Mr. Holman. She was able to articulate her, her emotions about seeing mm -hmm. uh, Michael Brown's mom there and for four hours, you know, having to see her son lay there and right. she can relate to that. Yeah. Were you able to get anyone from Ferguson who could relate to the racial divide in Ferguson. Yeah, I, I, I was able to do that and, and break down that dynamic. So in the full length feature, we dig more into that. Um, we really get clinical, like surgical with that. You know what I'm saying? So, so uh, you know, but yeah, I get into that. But it's, it's a very important point because, you know, for those of you that haven't been to Ferguson, there's, there's West Florissant which is actually on the east side of town. And then there's South Florissant, which is on the west side of town. And South Florissant is the side where, you know, you have those three floor homes sitting on about an acre and a half. That's where your library is and your beautiful new firehouse. And all of your public resources are there on that side. And then on the strip I live, there's like nothing. I mean, and even like 4th of July on South Florissant, they put flags up and down every light post for like two miles down that strip, but on West Florida, they don't do anything. Same thing in Christmas. So you see the, the little bitty reminders that one side is getting neglected over the other. So we get into that. <laughs> right. first, first and foremost, thank you um, for telling our story in such like a raw and authentic way. Because... Thank you. Thank you. It was beautiful, and I know that that's just the beginning. But what I wanted to say is, is that um, Ferguson, in and of itself, is really just a microcosm of the St. Louis area and really the nation, you know, at large. Yeah. And you know, as you do your feature, um, how do you really go into like, you know, what happens in the St. Louis region? Because after Mike Brown in the yeah. St. Louis region, basically once a month a black man was, was killed by the police. Sure. So it wasn't just Ferguson, it was it was yeah. St. Louis region. So how do you, you know? And, yeah, so that? for me, that, that's what my film was about, is to show how this exploded into a national movement and that's a national problem. So part of my, my process is also um, 
Yeah, that, that's 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 the beauty of the feature because this is 15 minutes. That's an hour and 45. Um, so I have the time to break down even historically how we got into Ferguson because you know there's things like white flight that folks don't know about that came into play, um, you know, and political leadership. And so yeah, with with the, the full length feature, I'll get into that breaking down the 91 municipalities and the commonalities and. And then you see some of those other cases. Like, I can't wait for y'all to see what I did with Chicago. Like, that was bizarre. Thank y'all. I appreciate it. Um, thank you to the Moolah. Thank you for the Gallery of Six, Landon, who is in here, and everybody, and Matt, and uh, everybody that's here at the Moolah. They've been great, and the Gallery and whatnot. Um, um, this is just a blessing to see all these people here, a diverse crowd. Some of y'all for your first time, some of y'all for y'all second time. And um, yeah. Ferguson 365 was an absolutely amazing film, and I cannot wait to see the feature. Um, it definitely took me back to August 9, 2014, and there were so many emotions, so many things that I, you know, learned again and was reminded of. And um, it's it's very powerful, amazing, and I can't wait to see the feature. Great job, Prince. It was awesome. It was awesome. This is my second time coming out to the film. I cannot wait for the full film to release. I'm so happy, so proud of you, Chris. Congratulations. And I know that this is only the beginning. Ferguson 365 was a beautiful display of black courage, black strength, um, a way to bring the black or African-American Moorish community together to be closer ties, to be nicer to each other. And it's just the beginning of great things for us. And uh, I just want to see more and any way we contribute, the movie's just great. It's really emotional for a lot of people that were there watching this, but this is now bigger than just Ferguson. This movie, it goes around the world. It, it, it's about everybody. It's about everybody's neighborhood, everybody's community. And I just, um, I was really nervous coming to see it, and now I'm really glad I did, because I feel like it's healing. It was hard images, but important to watch, and it leaves you with a lot of hope. So I'm really looking forward to the, the full-length film. This movie was awesome. You have to come see Ferguson 365. If you don't, you're sleeping, but it was, it was awesome. It was awesome. I think everyone needs to come see it. It's very informative. It gets you right in the heartstrings. It's right in the heartstrings. So make sure you come out and support Chris Phillips with Ferguson 365. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I thought it was a wonderful event. I think um, it's a beautiful thing that I was able to, with this this work, um, this body of work that affected this city, this city as a whole, just being able to bring people together for this cause, for this issue that you know has really changed the face of the world. I mean, it was a beautiful turnout. Uh, I had a sold out crowd at the gallery on Wednesday, a sold out crowd here at the Moolah Theater today, and it's just it's just a blessing. I feel humble that people responded so well to it. Um, you know, and, I just look forward for people to see the full length film so that they get a good scope of um, everything, you know, from, from what happened in the beginning to what happened in the future going forward. And uh, I'm just, I'm just blessed. I'm just honored.